before tonight's watch party of Game 3 of the NBA playoffs, the Memphis Grizzlies taking on the Utah Jazz. The Jazz asked fans for a moment of silence to honor the 7'4 blocking king, Mark Eaton. After talking with several fans, they told me they remember Eaton's life fondly. They say tonight's win was for him, Eaton, the two-time NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Thousands of people walking into Vivint Arena. That means thousands of stories about all-star jazz center Mark Eaton. We got a win tonight for him. He was just an amazing big guy, and I think I think more big guys need to be like that nowadays. We need to bring back the power of the big guy. The big guy, seven feet four inches. Also, a loyal guy. He spent his whole NBA career with the Utah Jazz. So I went down in the arena, in the tunnel, and all that, and I met Mark Eaton. Paul Richards is a lifelong jazz fan. I said a little bit bigger than this guy, and he signed my basketball. So I'll always remember that. These other lifelong jazz fans also with memories of Mark. I live in Summit County. Did you see him around? And he was just a generally sweet, good hearted guy. I did get to meet him once, and he was very, very nice. I mean, the game back then, the big guys were the beast, so I do remember him being a beast. <laughs> During game three of round one of the NBA playoffs, the Jazz honored Mark Eaton, looked back on his career, and had a moment of silence. A moment for all Jazz fans to reflect on one of the most dominant big men in Jazz history. He is fourth all-time in blocks in the NBA. He is number 53, Mark Eaton. And as you see behind me, the Utah Jazz celebrating their win in game three. Also celebrating the life of Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton's number 53 jersey continues to hang inside the rafters inside of Vivint Arena. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jordan Burroughs, ABC 4 News.